For the last topic of this lecture, I would like to uh, talk about uh, the useful GS queries that for subsetting features. Remember, when we talk about the process of map design or visualizing features and categories, one of the important cases you may find is you may have to select a subset of features for your mapping because the audience may be only interested in a subset of data you have. Uh, so GS queries can be used for that purpose. The ArcGIS in particular and GS in general have very strong uh, and very powerful query capability for selecting, accessing, and uh, highlighting the geographical data. In this particular lecture, we're interested in using GS queries for uh, choosing subset of the graphics or the features. So uh, you can query the data by the attributes, which uh, is similar to any SQL query. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, do the simple SQL, select from where classes, and, and define the conditions, for instance, of another feature. For example, hotels if within 10 miles uh, distance to a highway. You could also select features by the combination of spatial and attributes criteria see the results of a visual interface. So query can be a very powerful feature for interacting with the data. The most important part of uh, specifying query is on the decision of what criteria you can apply. So writing up a criteria involves choosing which attributes you want to use for filtering and what are the value or value range that it will be valid for your selection. In certain cases, especially for values that take a textual or literal value, uh, using some kind of a pattern matching on the textual value will be useful. So the wildcard, like a percentage sign, will be very useful in many cases. In fact, the percentage sign is the standard way to represent that it can be a place for inserting any character of zero or more lengths. The percentage sign can be either before or after or in the middle of the text string pattern uh, where the machine will do the matching using that pattern to the value. Okay, the selection will be the record that meet that uh, pattern. Let me demonstrate one example of how to use query to filter data. Uh, for example, you may get the data set that's showing all the crimes as point data as shown on the map of the upper right. But you may only be interested in drug crime. In order to only show those features, what you can do is to make a definition query. And this is available from the uh, layer attributes properties. Uh, so if you open up this definition query, and you can start a query builder to specify that the natural code equal to drugs. After you commit that query, the system will execute that query on the, the source data on the crime and only pick up those drug crime to be symbolized uh, on your map. The more complex case is just to concatenate multiple of the simple criteria into a, a combination of AND and all operators. So AND means the two conditions have to be met uh, simultaneously. And the all operator, if connect to the two criteria, means more kind of a union concept. Okay, so what we need to learn is to uh, get used to the concept of AND and all operator for specifying queries. So here we show a result of the definition query on crime data where the selected crime has to meet these two conditions. One is type of drugs crime, and the crime has to happen after year 2004, August 1st. Okay. So in this case, we have fewer crimes because it uh, has to meet both conditions. 